magnetic forces Arun and Marcus have two bar magnets. They did an investigation to find out which magnet was the strongest. They used a plastic ruler and a metal paper clip to compare the distance each magnet could attract the paper clip at. Here's a table for their results. You need to complete the table by filling in the average, also called the mean readings. The mean readings are found out by adding the readings in each of the columns, that is the distance for magnet 1, the second reading for the distance of magnet 1, and the third reading for distance for magnet 1. You need to add all of them and divide it by the number of observations, that is 3. Why did they make three readings for each pole of each magnet? It is to get a more accurate result. Why did they use a metal paper clip and not a plastic coated paper clip? Because a metal paper clip is magnetic, so it is attracted to a magnet. A plastic paper clip will be non magnetic, so it will not be attracted to the magnet. Which magnet was the strongest, magnet 1 or magnet 2? Magnet 2 was the strongest. Which pole of magnet was the strongest, the north or the south pole? It would be the south pole. What conclusion did Arun and Marcus make about the strength of the magnets? The conclusion is that all the magnets have different strengths. The poles of one magnet can have different strength. Marcus compares the strength of two bar magnets, that is magnet A and magnet B. He has three pieces of card, 10 by 10 cm each, and a steel screw. This is what Marcus does. On step 1, Marcus places the screw on a table underneath one piece of card. He holds magnet A over the card. The screw sticks to the card and he's able to pick up the card and screw with the magnet. Marcus repeats step 1 with magnet B and gets the same result. In step 2, he now puts two card pieces between the magnet and the screw. The screw still sticks to the magnet through two pieces of card when he uses magnet A and magnet B. He now puts three pieces of card between the magnet and the screw. The screw still sticks to the magnet through three pieces of card when he uses magnet A. But when he uses magnet B, the screw does not stick to the cards. Why does the screw stick to the card when Marcus holds the magnet over the card? The screw is made of steel, which is a magnetic material. Which magnet was strongest, A or B? Explain why. Magnet A is the strongest because the screw still stuck to the back of the three cards. List two ways that Marcus' experiment was a fair test. He used the same size of screw made of the same material for each magnet. He used the same size and thickness of card for each magnet. Could Marcus have used a cork or a plastic button instead of a screw to test the strength of the magnets? Explain why or why not? No, cork and plastic are two non-magnetic materials, so they would not be attracted to the magnet. Here's a short passage about maglev. Maglev stands for magnetic levitation. Levitation means floating above the ground. Magnets on the track 
push and lift the train up in the air by 3 to 5 cm. So a maglev train floats above the tracks on a cushion of magnetic force. The magnets in the track are extremely strong and very expensive. If a country wants to use a maglev train, they have to build a completely new magnetic track. It's not possible to change an old track into a maglev train track. Maglev trains float on air. This means that there is no friction with the track. This lack of friction allows these trains to reach speeds of more than 500 km per hour. Maglev trains have no wheels. This makes them quieter than normal trains. Maglev trains use 30% less energy than normal trains. What are maglev train tracks made of? They're made of magnets. What keeps a maglev train moving 3 to 5 cm above the track? The magnetic force. Give three advantages of the maglev train compared to a train that runs on metal tracks. Maglev trains travel faster, they are quieter and also they use 30% less fuel than normal trains. What is the main disadvantage of the maglev train? The disadvantage is that it's very expensive to build the tracks. Find out which countries use maglev trains. In 2020, there were two maglev trains in use in China, two in South Korea and one in Japan.